Hi, I'm Steve Gamut and I'm the Viticulture Technologist for the University of Nebraska's Viticulture Program. And I'm here today to talk to you about spray drift. Grapes in the state of Nebraska is a $3.4 million industry. This one particular vineyard has 454 vines to the acre and each one of these vines is worth to the grower $10 a vine. So this makes this vineyard worth $4,540 to the acre. To the winemaker, each vine will produce, say, a gallon and a half of wine or produce seven bottles per vine, making it worth approximately $34,000 to, to the acre. So grapes is a very highly profitable crop and very sensitive to 2,4-D. Compare that to a grain crop such as corn at 200 bushels at $7 a bushel, corn would be worth $1,400 to the acre. That kind of pales comparison just what a grape grower will get out of his grapes as opposed to what a corn grower could get out of his corn. Grapes being a perennial crop does not need to be replanted year after year. And because it is a broadleaf crop, the biggest detriment to grape vines is spray drift. There are two types of spray drifts that we're concerned about. One is 2,4-D and the other is dicamba. Both of them being a systemic foliar spray that enters the vine through the leaves and then can be transferred down to the root system. They can either kill the plant outright or definitely set them back a year or two. Spray drift is also a concern for organic fruit growers, vegetable growers, and maybe honeybees. So spray drift is a big concern for alternative crop production here in the state of Nebraska. So you as an applicator, before you want to spray, you want to be sure to check out your surroundings and get to know your neighbors. One way of doing that is to check on the Drift Watch website and check to see who's registered their crop production area through that site. Also, you want to be sure to read the label, be aware of what the label's telling you and how to apply your chemical because the label is the law and you're accountable to that law. Hello, my name is Craig Romery with the Nebraska Department of Agriculture and we're going to be talking about Driftwatch today. Driftwatch is a national website that displays pesticide sensitive crops and the web address is www.driftwatch.org and if you go to the website you'll see this screen where it shows a national map with about nine states that are uh, involved and if you click on the Nebraska map, it'll take you to the Nebraska page where there is information on the header bar on sensitive crops, information for applicators. Uh, you can access the maps and take a look at the user's guide. And if you click on the state outline, it'll bring up the Google map, which displays all of the pesticide sensitive crops. And the legend on the right hand side these are the crops that are shown in Nebraska. So you can see we have beehives, organic, uh, fruits and vegetables, greenhouses, uh, orchards, etc. And Google Maps is pretty easy. You just click and pan around, or you can zoom in to the area you want, or you can type in the town or a zip code here to zoom in to that specific place. And you can see the outlines of the fields and the farms that are located in your area. Another good feature for applicators, if you click on the applicators button at the top, it allows you to register your information, your contact information, and as well as your email address. And when new sensitive crops are, are added to the area that you select, you will get an email notification that that information has been added. So uh, you don't have to uh, go to it every day, although it wouldn't be a bad idea to do so uh, quite frequently. But uh, you can also, because it's a national map, you can go to the, the map and you can see the other states that are there. So if you're an aerial applicator or located along the border, uh, that may be helpful to you. And when you're out in the field, you will likely run across some of these drift watch signs. Uh, the growers are getting these after they get approved to the website 
and they're putting these along their fields. So you'll see them along the roads and fence lines and it's just another indi indicator for you to, to be aware of what, what's across the fence. So I encourage you to go to the website and check it out and if you have any questions you can contact us. Thank you.